hi guys so welcome back to my channel it's your girl becca kiru and if you're new to my channel what are you waiting for go to that you know down there to that button and subscribe it because uh you don't want to miss anything that i do do you want to miss it i'm not so sure about that i know you want to miss it so what else anyways so now today in this video we're going to talk we're going to find out does your guy want a relationship or just a hookup? Is he, is he there just for sex or is there for, you know, is interested in you? Do you want to find out? So stay until the end of the video to find out, okay? So I don't want to waste more time, you know, talking, blah, blah. It's just the intro, so yeah. So we are back to the video. Like I said, I didn't want to go into chat, 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 you know? So I just love going straight into the point and give you guys the tips to find out if a guy really wants a relationship or a hookup. So it's up to you, girl, to know, to find out or to know things. Okay, not to know things. Don't mind that. <laughs> okay, so um, I've been just, you know... As you know, when you approach that age of being an adult to 19, you know, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and it goes all the way. So on that time, you are, you want something real. You don't want to just play around, you know, if, you know, but people these days start dating us like at 16, 15, so, well, that's not the point. So the point is that you are here to find out if a guy wants a relationship or sex or hookup, whatever. But it's a hookup. So, one thing, I got seven tips for you. So, like I said, I don't want to go all the way to places that I don't want to go. So, um, the first one is that if a guy really wants a hookup with you or sex, you will notice this. One, it doesn't introduce you to his family or friends. Period. Most of the time you ask him, can I see your mom or can I see your dad or can I see your friends? He will always come up with an excuse, you know? Like, or he will just try to avoid that topic and bring another one on top because girl, he doesn't want like, you to be known by people that he cares about because you are just there to pass time. So yeah the first thing you notice for a guy is it doesn't introduce you to his parents or friends so put that in mind the second one is girl if he doesn't compliment your personality or your character or you know something that it's more important than just the looks girl that's another thing that you have to say that it's always not, oh, you're so beautiful, or you got a good body, or you're this and that. But it doesn't tell you that, I just love your kindness, I love your, you know, courage, courageous, or whatever. <laughs> so, a guy, the only, if you see a guy who just, you know, compliments how your personality is, who loves your personality and loves you for it. Not just your looks, because, girl... I know we're all beautiful and we all try to be tall. I mean, we're all happy when we're being told, okay, then I'm rumbling, so yeah. But the good thing here, I'm just giving you the point. So if you see these two points, girl, run. Okay, not run, but I don't, you just have to be like, mm -hmm, does he even like me? So don't wonder. Today, in this century, <laughs> we got everything laid on front of us. We just have to be very, you know, smart and we don't want to be played around by boys or men or whatever so that's what i'm telling you girl the first one it doesn't introduce you to his family and friends hmm you gotta ask yourself a question and then the second one it doesn't compliment your personality just your looks hmm that is something that you don't want to miss and then um the third one is it doesn't make plans for the future for you too so every time you ask him uh so um what's gonna happen like in 20 years time hmm you're waiting for him to give you the answer maybe you're gonna be married and have kids and have such a good life uh-uh 
he's not gonna give you that he'll be like I don't know you know maybe you will say I don't know or you will come up with something because men are different and the way they answer questions according to what they want they can do anything to get what they want we just have to be very smart so he's not gonna include you in the future or in you know in whatever in the future you know if he doesn't include you in any plans just know this is a wrong sign you just it's a wrong sign for you don't mind the door that's like in favor so like when you leave like open the door it's make a loud noise so don't mind it anyways i've given it three so far and the third fourth one is it's always open about his emotionals and what is going through in his life always you know talking oh i went through this and this today oh i did this dude be a man you know you're supposed to be man men always you know it's not good to open up but they open up only about the emotionals but not like something else so if he's always talking about his emotional and what he's going through during the day huh put that in mind put that in mind um then is the fifth one sorry guys i usually write them down because hmm, i can't forget them ah, the, the fifth one is not afraid to talk about this relationship he's not afraid he can just you know talk yeah he's not afraid to talk about this this the relationship because he knows that this is not serious so <laughs> what is that to talk about so he just be like yeah i'm just guys don't tell that i'm here for sex because they know that well if she finds out unless you two guys people you know two people come together and agree if it's your care for just fun but if it's only here for fun and he knows that you don't want to do fun he's not going to tell you that i'm here for fun he will pretend that he's, everything is okay he will even pretend to be a boyfriend because well there's something that he wants but so today you don't want to go through that wondering if a guy likes you or not if he's here for that because i've just given you some tips so yeah then the sixth one girl if he only texts you at night like at midnight at 11 at 12 really do you want to go through that during the day is nowhere to be found but when it reaches night when it reaches 11 or 12 is that texting you like seriously girl why does he text you at 11 because you are not yeah you don't mean anything to him all he's on his head is that you are the chick he's having fun and that's it he doesn't care about your emotional issues or what you've gone through today he doesn't care about that all he cares is that he texts you reply and they always text to you know to keep you interested because they don't want you to read what's going on they always just draw you in you know then you feel like or oh, maybe he's you know interested in me guys can be typical sometimes so yeah it's all the texting and so if you see a guy is upset during the day and then when it reaches the night like until 11 he's texting you. you 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 need to wake up you need to wake up from your sleep like uh-uh then the seventh one he doesn't talk about his past well he doesn't talk about anything about him you know like what what was his past relationship was about what his life is all about what is his plans and what his family all about he doesn't talk about anything you know he's trying to keep it private like dude we are here together but you you're preferring not to talk about your family or your friends or anything so it doesn't open up if you see a guy who doesn't open up and tells you about his family about his life about his future i don't think you want to be around that person so and most of the time when you try to ask them about what they do what they you know all those questions that we usually just ask guys if you're interested in a guy and you want somebody who is more responsible more 
respectful, more understanding, more open up, like who, someone who can just put you there, you know, someone who can understand you, like most of the time they just turn the question around and make it like you're the bad guy, so, and make you feel you're like the bad one, so, I'm, I, I, this, this guy, I'm not going to say the name, so, we just started, we meant to know these social places, not social, like, internet social places. But we started talking, it was going so well. Well, it was going so well, but when it comes to asking him about, like, he didn't have all, the, I noticed some things, but I was like, maybe I'm wrong, you know, you don't want to go to that extent where you start, you don't create problems. So I was trying to be the good girl, you know, trying to ask questions, like, the way, you know, when you're trying to get somebody to know someone, you ask questions. I mean, that's my, that's my trick, y'all. You want to know somebody, ask specific questions, important ones, like, um, like, oh, what do you do? What's your plans for the future? What, what are you, you know, such questions. So I asked this guy. First, he didn't even tell me the name. Like, his name was kind of, he used to, he gave me the wrong name, like, not his real name. But my instincts were always right. So I was like, if you're not going to tell me even at least your real name, I don't think we should be talking, you know? So... He kind of just opened up and told me his name is this and this. I was like, that's a fast step. But, and then he used to text me at night. So I was like, uh-uh, that's another time off for me because you can't text me at night. During the day, we're all busy. Well, we all do things to keep ourselves busy. But you can't just squeeze time to text me even hi in the morning or even, good morning, how's your day going? How's you going? Blah, blah. But you know. You wait until 11 o'clock or 12, you text me. <laughs> so, like, seriously, then I asked him now the real question. What do you do? Oh, why are you asking me what I do? Is it important? Blah, blah. I was like, uh-uh. You know what? <laughs> Sorry, I think we're in the wrong path. I think we are, we, 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 this is not going to happen, you know? Because... Whatever you're doing that you don't want to be good. I don't want to be one of your fan, you know, pets or fan memories thing. So that just, I kept thinking about it and I was like, I need to tell my girls about this, you know. First, he doesn't talk about his friends or family. And he doesn't, t like, text you during the day. He's absent, totally absent. And then you, you just, when it reaches like 11, 12, he texts you. And then, when you ask them about their personal life or future plans or whatever, most of the time they just turn the question around, you know? Make you look like the bad girl. So, I don't want you to go through that. So, when you notice these signs from a guy, uh -uh. run. Not run. Mostly, I come up straight to a guy, man. I'm like, what do you want? Because I am not here for fun, or I'm not one of your experiments. So if you're here for those things, <laughs> better watch out. Or you can just leave. Because I don't want to be one of your experiments or one of your mini girlfriends. Because guys are just guys. So they think that we are still stupid. They think that we are still dumb. They think that... They can still just play us around and then then they leave. In this 21st century, uh-uh. No. Not in this century, y'all. No, uh. -uh. We got some good girls. Oh, badass girls. To give us some tips. So I got them right there, girl. So if you notice in those seven tips that I told you. In those tips, if you find them, girl, boot him big time. Just tell him, you know what? Come straight to a guy. So, look, being single is can it can be lonely. It can be really frustrating. But when you're focused on what you really want, you won't even know if the time is moving. You won't even notice if you're lonely because, well, you better be lonely than being with somebody who's just playing around with you. You know. I prefer that. I'd rather be lonely than being with somebody who just 
while making one of these experiments. And I don't want to go into this experiment because you know what guys do? They do these things with you, experimenting because they know you're stupid. You can't notice what is going on, like, it, because you haven't noticed any signs from them. So they think you're stupid and they just do whatever they do and then get on with it. And then they go talk with friends about it. So, yeah, we, we have to be very careful, you know, because guys can be very manipulative. We have to be very smart. Anyways. That was enough for it today. Today, I just wanted to give you those seven tips. So if you notice even a slightly different from a guy, this is like the people like your boyfriend or whoever you're dating and you've been dating for like two years or I don't know, some people date for three. My longest relationship was one year and a half. So if you date a guy that long, and you don't know his friends, you don't know his whereabouts, you don't know anything about him. Ask yourself a question, what am I doing here? Sorry, what am I doing here? So, do you really want to waste your life on somebody who doesn't take you seriously? When you have somebody waiting, somebody, because God has planned everybody for his soulmate because we're always in a hurry you know we just throw ourselves there but you have to know that god has given we all have soulmates it's just that we take it things so seriously and we run you know we rush into things and we screw things up and blah so yeah <laughs> and so but also for a guy for me it works these tips have worked really it's been you know almost two years and it's working for me so i'm pretty sure if you stick to these seven tips you have to tell me how it goes you know tell me how it goes because trust me girl if you use these seven tips i'm pretty sure you'll find the right guy for you because finding a guy these days huh hard work the good ones are hard to find but we just have to be patient you know patient anyways i don't want to be blubbering about anything else <laughs> i just wanted to give you that so uh yeah so let me know how you you goes don't go breaking up with your boyfriend because of this if you actually these are the only things if you really notice these things that's when you have to do something about it because if you if it's one-sided love, you're the one who loves the person and the guy doesn't, you know, give you all the concern that a lady should have. Well, I don't know. It's up to you. I don't, you know, again, at the end of the, the day, it's a decision. Whatever you decide with your life, it's okay with you. But I'm not going to tell you if you see these things, go break up or whatever. I'm just giving you these things. So if you're like, one of those people like me who don't want to be played around or who doesn't want to be you know want to be want to be <laughs> want to be one of the experiments well i got the tips for you so use them and tell me how it goes because i really want to see if somebody is gonna yeah so those are the tips girl so until then because i got another video for you guys it's gonna be amazing i'm not gonna spoil it so so that's the video so until then i know you you watched until the end so thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for again Please go down there and subscribe it because when I download a video, upload a video, I mean, don't mind that. <laughs> you don't want to miss it, do you? You don't want to miss any video that I make, so subscribe it. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Like, but if you don't like it, then that's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to force you, you know, to like it and not like it. But I think it's lit, you know, just give it a thumbs up. And give me your opinion. What do you think about it? Comment right there. Tell me what you think about these tips. Are they okay? 
they and tell me how it goes if you see things too just tell me anything you know anything would be inspiring you know because we're all learning here so yeah anyways until then guys i love you guys till the next video